So much for the cozy sweaters and the hayrides. After a wild mix of winter-like conditions across the Great Plains, what many people want to know this morning is, what happened to October? Watch out! Driving in Colorado was treacherous. An icy stretch of Interstate 25 near Wellington, Colorado, sent tractor trailers skidding out of control Sunday. Firefighters had to actually punch a hole in this truck to free the cattle inside. We had multiple trucks jackknifing, sliding towards our crews. We've had to actually bail away from the truck several times. This FedEx truck also rolled over, spilling thousands of packages. North Platte, Nebraska set a record with 17 inches of snow. And Cheyenne, Wyoming got nearly a foot. Apparently, no one told the still green leaves in Minneapolis that winter was coming early, and residents had to remember where they'd stashed their windshield scrapers. I really wish it had waited until at least November. <laughs> it's a little early to start thinking about scraping snow. Even the baseball playoffs were temporarily iced at Coors Field Saturday night. Still, when the Rockies and Phillies did play last night, it was 35 degrees, tying a record for the coldest postseason game on the books. As we get set, 31 degrees. They're expecting snow in an hour. It's baseball weather. Baseball weather? Right. Now, keep in mind the front range of the Rockies. Most of that snow gone now. Colorado, uh, Wyoming into Nebraska. But uh, Sioux Falls, Minneapolis, Green Bay, you're in the crosshairs today for a couple to four inches of, uh, of the snow with 20 to 35 degree temperatures below normal. So we'll continue to watch that.